Hey Gemini, as the thumbnails suggest, this reading isn't for everybody, it's the racy card reading. Um, I don't want to offend anybody, so if you're easily offended, please click off now. I just want to give a variety of cards and a variety of readings. Okay, keep an open mind jumping out there. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell okay guys so you get all the messages i post each month if you want to know what cards i'm using you'll find that information in the description box along with how to contact me for personal readings i'm also running a raffle at the moment where you can win a free reading so go ahead and check that information out in the description box so we have Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So if you're, if you're feeling, okay, I want to meet somebody new, right? Trust that instinct, okay? And keep a mind in mind if it's somebody different from your usual type, um, because if your usual type was working out for you, you wouldn't be single, right? So if your feelings are telling you, you know, my connection isn't quite over with somebody, trust your feelings and trust that they're going through a change, okay? But the engagement here is saying your love life is ascending. So if you're single, you're getting into a relationship. If you're in a relationship, you're going towards a commitment here, okay? Like engagement. So let's see what we have going on. Ooh, Gemini, Nine of Swords, up all night here. It seems like if you're single, you know, you're up all night feeling that connection, wanting to be with somebody. I feel like it's that like calling in your soulmate energy, right? So, you know, if you are single, because the nine's about the hermit, it's about yourself here. So you could be up all night, you know, with these visions. If you're in a couple here, I feel like they make you feel like you're the only person in the world here. Like when you guys get to be alone and yeah so much so you forget everybody else in the world queen of pentacles it could be an earth sign but this person now wants to take care of you okay um i feel like you may have been taking care of yourself that's the queen of pentacles energy no harm in that um taking pleasure in yourself or taking care of yourself but this person wants to do it for you now. Look at this. I want to meet your every need here. And I feel like maybe if you're envisioning this, like them caressing you and touching you, that would be like through the night there. You could even be feeling it, even though they're not with you. So if you have a connection with somebody and feel it's not over, it can be that you feel them touching you on a night or something like that. And it's that um, psychic connection there that you have going on. The two of wands reverse. So you may feel like, okay, I'm single and I don't have a say in it. Or, you know, it's n nothing to do with me. Maybe somebody won't give me a chance or the opportunity to you know, show them everything, how much I've missed them or how much I want them here. Because it's reversed. So you may feel like, look, it's taken out of my hands at the moment. It's not my decision. If I had my choice, I'd have my way, right? The King of Cups here. So there is this deep love and these feelings here. And it's telling you, your feelings are real. Trust them here. Be guided by them especially at the moment, it's cancer season. So be guided by your emotions. Allow that water to flow through you easily, okay? Don't try and fight it because the more you try and fight the water and struggle, the more you'll drown there, right? So it'll become overwhelming during cancer season. So you navigate it by trusting your feelings and allowing your feelings, not try to hide your feelings there. Six of Pentacles. So you're bored of waiting for somebody to come into your life here, I feel. Frustrated, anxious even. 
um, wanting somebody to come towards you, wanting somebody to share with, somebody to give to you and, you know, you want to give to them. But look at this. There's a, there's a person in the door here. They're coming. They're almost here. So it's about that balance, right? Trusting your instincts and um, actually following through with them. You may feel like all of this is out of your control, but your feelings are trying to guide you to give you that control. Somebody's coming towards you here to put good energy in you. Two of swords, okay? So usually this is indecision, right? In the normal tarot deck. But if you can see here, they are both open to this. One of them has their head turned away. Um, so they may seem uninterested, but if you look closer, um, her legs are open. So she's welcoming in. She's already took her shoe off here. The truth is, you know, we can see one sword there on the floor. So it's like she's no longer indecisive. The closer you get, what I'm actually hearing is move closer, move your body real close until we meet. Feels like we're really making love. What is that song? Um... It's called Move Closer, but who sings it? I've completely forgotten. But that's why I'm feeling. The closer they get to you, the more you realize that they want you or the softer you become and want them, okay? So move closer here until it feels like we're really making love. Six of Wands. Yeah, look, now they get their sights on you. Now I can see you. Um, I really want you. I'm desiring you. I'm touching you, you know. Like, it's almost like you're close enough to touch now. But this is somebody fancying you, desiring you. The temptation will be too much once they're that close to you that they will, you know, you'll have this victory and success with the Six of Wands. You'll have your way with them. The Emperor, yeah, so they can be stubborn as much as they're like, but as soon as they get close enough, they won't be able to resist you here. And that's why we have this new beginning with abundance with the Empress here. Uh, sorry, the Emperor here. Remember, the Emperor is abundant. It's very powerful. The Five of Wands. Yeah, the frustration is building and the tension is building between you both here. The closer you get to this soulmate, that might be why you can't sleep because you can feel them getting closer whether you know them or not. You just know something's coming. There's this tension, this electric in the air and the tension's building and, you know, finally, once they're here and they're closer to you, you know, then it's sort of like, I'm feeling like this relaxing sensation. So you may be feeling like, why is everybody else getting, you know, their ex back here or getting meeting somebody new? So that can be the tension that's building, right? But you can feel this very strong now. Five of pentacles and look. When this five of pentacles, when you're outside in the cold, somebody comes to meet you. So I feel like there's this fated meeting or you bump into somebody here and this is why your love life starts to ascend. Good luck, guys. 